I think it's time for a video that I'm putting an unusual amount of effort into. As an example, this is my second take because I said um far too many times in the previous one. So I've bought this Tandy DMP132 dot matrix printer and it I bought it because, well for two reasons. One is because my dad found a whole heap of this tractor feed printer paper in the shed or something a little while ago. And the other reason is because it has this 25 pin parallel port interface and it's one of those old PC standards so I figured it would be pretty easy to interface with and it is and I've managed to use this Arduino to print whatever I want I just write a text string upload it to the Arduino and it prints it out so I'm going to demonstrate that just now so, uh, first I switch the printer on, it's already switched on. I'll put it into mono space mode, because that's what I like. And I'll just plug the 5 volts in very carefully here, because a short is not what I want. There we go, it's on. No, hang on, I've got to unplug that. Put the printer online, then plug it in. So I've just been getting it to, you know, print copy pasta and all sorts of things. This is a self-test that it does itself when I press certain buttons when it switches on. But, so yeah, this demonstrates that I can get it to do what I want it to. This is how I've plugged it in. So I've got this breakout board for the 25 pin, the DB25 connector that I bought from, from China, as, as, I'm, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, and I've just plugged a a selection or most of the lines directly into the Arduino and this is how I've done it and so what it does is it writes a code to the eight data lines it writes the ASCII code of the character I want to print it activates the strobe line which is that blue one on the left there it's like a clock whenever it goes low it says okay printer there you go <laughs> print that character then it waits for an acknowledge from the printer to say, okay, I've got that character, give me another one. It waits for the printer to stop being busy, which is another line. Uh, I'm not checking for errors because I don't have enough pins for that. And then just go back to the top, write the code, strobe, wait for the acknowledgement, wait for it's not busy, check for, well, no, don't check for errors. <laughs> go to the top, keep doing that. And so, now that I've done a test print and explained protocol, well not the protocol, but the um the loop, I'll show you the code. So this is the code that I've got. And you can see up the top this is what actually gets printed. And so it's pretty easy to change. I just change this string and re-upload it and I can change what gets printed. But I'll walk through the code. So the first thing it does is just set up all the pins, you know sets strobe to high, initializes everything to the way that it should be. It makes sure that all the data lines are zero, just in case. Sets up the acknowledge and busy pins as inputs. I think they're the only inputs I've got. It writes high to the init pin, initialize pin, and what it does is it just brings it low for about half a second. I, I wait half a second as a sort of precaution and brings it high again. And when the printer sees that, when it sees the initialize pin, pulse low and then high, it goes, ah, that's the start of a new print job, I'll set myself up for that. Next thing I do is I attach an interrupt to the pin that is attached to the acknowledge signal, um, and I set this interrupt to run on the falling edge of that signal, so when it goes from 5 volts to 0 volts, this int function will get run, and I'll explain that in just a moment. So the, the main code that gets run is this for loop and what it means is for for each character in the string run run this loop and a, a few other things and so you know for, for each of these characters get get the value of it and 
write each write the value of each bit in that character in that number to the corresponding output pin of those eight data lines on the Arduino and so it just does some anding and bit shifting here to figure out the value of each bit so we can write it to the Arduino pin then once it's got that entire character on the eight data lines it writes low then a short delay and then high to the strobe pin and when the computer sees that low on the strobe pin it goes ah, okay that's a new character I'll print that now I also need to make sure that the printer did in fact receive the character that I just sent and so I wait until the acknowledge line comes low and that's where this interrupt comes in I have this global variable called acwait up here and that means that any function because it's defined globally any function can change it and it starts out as one and so what that means is while acwait is still equal to one just keep waiting a little bit of time and just keep checking is acwait still one is acwait still one um, and now this might look like it'll get locked in this position because nothing can change the acwait variable but no I have this interrupt when the acknowledged line comes low it sort of jumps and runs this function and all it does is sets acwait to zero to break this loop which means okay the printer has told me it's acknowledged the it's acknowledged the the character being sent it runs this function breaks the loop and now I can keep going on and it sets acwait to one again to set this loop up for the next time a character is waiting to be acknowledged when, when it all comes back around it does a similar thing for the busy line but the busy line is just a the busy line isn't as important so I don't need an interrupt to check it I can just read it and, and check so I don't want to print anything while the printer's busy so wait till it's not busy then go to the next character and keep printing characters over and over until you get to the end of the string at which point this loop will break and there's nothing after that J loop so it just stops and so I can show how easy it is to change what gets printed because I've just got to change this code and I'm not sure what I should write um, hmm. I'll stop recording and find something to, to set the string to okay I'll, uh, I'll, I'll write a bit of that, that quote from, from Pulp Fiction just to make sure I'll do a couple of new lines because the, the auto feed doesn't seem to be working properly and I don't want to accidentally write over the top of stuff I've already printed that would not be good uh, so there's my there's my next nerd quote to print and I'll just upload this right okay oh and by the way um, probably the the best resources that I found on how this protocol works are uh, this image from Wikipedia which shows the pin out really nicely and sets it out very very I don't know I just like the way it looks and it's not as daunting as it might seem because you know you're only dealing with 17 of the pins because eight of them are just connected to ground and eight of them are just data pins which is fairly easy to figure out so there are only about well there are only six pins that you really have to worry about I'm not checking for errors or anything like that well maybe not you, you get the idea and also this how stuff works page which really nicely explains what each of the pins actually does and what voltages they should be when they should change all that so I've just uploaded this and I'll plug it in and show you the other thing that it prints or how I can change what it prints so I have the newly programmed Arduino here and I'll switch the printer back on oh no, I'll unplug it first and I'll switch the printer back on I'll switch it online and I'll leave it off mono space mode oh it was already online I'll, I'll leave it off mono space mode because I well, I mean just to demonstrate something else really um, so I'll plug this back in carefully there you 
go. That's it. So I think if I do another video about this, I'll be looking into the escape codes. Um, so how you can make the printer do interesting things, change your mode by sending it certain combinations of characters, so putting it into graphics mode or word processing mode. I'll have to read up on the manual and figure out how all that works, but it sounds interesting.